hello, good day to you. It's uh, next episode in this series, uh, Mobilize uh, Beginner's Guide for setting up your website. Today we're going to have a look at the um, various options that you have within your uh, application there that you can use to make it better and they call it SEO. So this is uh, the Google side of things. Um, that you may need to look into and it will help your website be found by Google. my demo website here so we have a look at the sites page uh, a little cog this will bring up various options here so you can change your site name um, give it a more productive name and you can export the site and there's a history of uh, amendments that you've made to that particular site and you can obviously change it back as a um, favorite icon no you can change this this is what appears in the corner on your web browser so for example i don't know if i've got one something small like um i don't know Let's have a uh, let's have a check out cash cash register. I don't know. It will differ to the application if you look on here. So the menu logo is, is mobilized, but it will use a different um, a different icon for uh, displaying on your web browser. Uh, optimization. Resizing images is turned on. Now the SEO, this is the important part. We need to use the robots. This is where you can put in various, I'll do a video about robots, but uh, for now, just save it as that. We can edit it later. And the sitemap XML. Um, this is gonna be what Google needs. Um, and of course you need to put in the website address I'm going to put in a different site because this is a demo site so I'll put in this uh, and save that and that should correspond to your domain name for this website otherwise it's not going to be any good set it to automatically do it and create and what it will create is a file called sitemap.xml you need to upload this well it, it does it anyway but you need to upload it to your uh, space your website space and what we're going to be doing is this one here the analytics side of things so this will be where we paste the code in there google analytics Me measuring your website uh, views and things like this. This is um, currently doing tracking, uh, tracking which website? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> One of my websites, anyway. Or is it all, all websites? So website designs are us and uh, you have to create this account for your website and we go to go to admin 
obviously you've created this using your own profile so your google google, google account profile uh, what you need to do is create a property so this is that's your account that you're in now this is your property and it's currently just playing for uh, website designs are us so you will create a property click the button follow all of the instructions there so it's for a website an app or a app and web i don't know it may be and you have to fill in all the details uh for that and then you come back when you've done all that i'm not going to actually do it because i haven't got any websites to, to create so what we'll do is we'll look at this so this is what you'll end up with this whole list of uh, options the one that you want tracking information so tracking code is what we need the tracking code uh, and what we do is we copy this this area here copy this and we can then go to our website back into our demo the seo and then we paste in here and save it obviously it's saved automatically so now google will track this demo website once it's been uploaded to the internet interweb um, once it is uploaded and it's all running and working you can then send test traffic to the website uh, which obviously then you can then see in the overview so you can monitor your activities as it happens if you've got a busy website but so far no users very boring you can find out your audience type as well see who viewing so here the audience type we've had five users click on it uh, number of sessions per user page views um, where they're from the browser that they use the operating system all sorts of stuff so they were all um, en english language um clicking through you know it's all google stats that you may or may not find useful in google analytics and i don't i'm i'll be perfectly honest with you i don't understand much of it but as long as it, you're linked in and the good thing is obviously that you can have um, as many uh, websites as you like so my travel channel all website data so there you go that that is how you do the uh, analytics for Google on your website very simple very easy and of course it will help you uh, see how you can promote your website and of course put your if you put some adverts on there as well which we'll cover um it's ideal way to make some money right have a good day and uh, catch you next time that's bye for now